Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at another executor for Roblox. Now, as some of you might know, Roblox has actually patched Celestial, so that is no longer working on the browser version of Roblox. And a lot of executors have stopped working as of right now. So in this video, I'll be showing you an executor that is 100% working. Now, as always, I do suggest watching the video to the very end so you don't miss any of the important steps. And let's get right into it. So first things first, you need to disable your antivirus before you download the executor, otherwise the executor will not work. So to disable the antivirus, come over to this icon right here and search for virus and threat protection. Go ahead and open that up and go into manage settings. From there, go ahead and turn off real time protection at the top. When you click this, it will give you a little prompt. Go ahead and click on yes. You will be able to turn this back on in a little while, but for now it needs to be off. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on the first link in the description, which will take you to my website. It won't be the same page. It will be the page for the video that you're currently watching. From there, go ahead and click on the download button and it will take you to this page over here. Go ahead and complete these steps and it will take you to the final download destination. From there, go ahead and click on download now and choose wherever you wish to download it. For me, I'm going to download it to my desktop. Once you do that, go ahead and click on save. Now go ahead and open the download manager and go ahead and click on yes. And that should load up the download manager for you. There we go. So from there, go ahead and click on next. If it does ask you if you want to download any of the offers, it is completely up to you. So you can click on decline. And as you can see, it has already completed it. If it doesn't, go ahead and complete that through. And there you go. So you should get your link from there. Go ahead and copy the link. Go back to your browser, paste the link and click enter. And there we go. So from there, you can choose wherever you wish to download Fluxus. I'm going to choose my desktop. And there we go. It has downloaded. Now, in some cases, if it does block the download, Hold down control and press J and that should open up your downloads folder and from there you can manually approve it. Another thing I want to mention is that you have to generate your own link. The same link will not work for everyone so you do have to get your own link when it comes to the download. Once you've got Fluxus downloaded, go ahead and right click it and click on extract all. From there, go ahead and click on extract and that should create a new folder for you. So for now, you can delete these two old files right here and you should have your new Fluxus folder just like this. For now, go ahead and close out of that and go back into your virus and threat protection. Go into manage settings, scroll down until you see add or remove exclusions. Go ahead and click on that, click on yes. And from there, go ahead and choose add an exclusion and choose folder. Once you've done that, go ahead and choose wherever you've got your Fluxus downloaded. For me, it's on my desktop and go ahead and click that. Once you've got the folder selected, click on select and you should see it added to your exclusions. Once you see it added to your exclusions, you can go back and now you can turn on your real time protection if you wish to do that. So from this point, you can open up the Fluxus folder, go into it and open up the actual installer. If you get this little prompt, go ahead and click on more info and click run anyway. And there we go. So it should open up the installer for you now. From there, go ahead and click on next and choose the top option just like that and just let it download. It might take a couple of seconds and it should download all of the files for you. Make sure you don't close anything. It will automatically open Fluxus once it has installed. There you go. So as you can see, it has now opened Fluxus. If it's your first time using Fluxus, it will ask you to get a key. You can watch my previous videos to see the steps of getting the key. It is very simple and that's pretty much it. That is how you get the actual executor. From there, you can go ahead and go into the Microsoft Store version. Now, I do want to make it clear that as of right now, there is no executor that works on the browser version. Once there is, I will be sure to make a video on that. So make sure you're subscribed for that. So to use the actual executor, you need to go into Roblox. Of course, if it's your first time using it, you need to get your key. And um, if you get this menu, then you're good to go. So from there, go ahead and click on inject and that should inject into Roblox. And that's pretty much it for the video, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.